you want to create visualizations from your Notion data? With the new Notion charts, it just takes a few clicks to convert your tables into bar charts, line graphs, and more. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a chart in your Notion table and export it as an image file. Hi, I'm Tom from X-Ray Tech, the workflow company. At X-Ray, we help our members create more time by automating the software they use every day, like Notion, HubSpot, Salesforce, and a whole lot more. If you'd like to learn more about X-Ray and our services, check out our website at xray.tech. To see more no-code software tips and tutorials every week, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new way to save time. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to create chart views in your Notion tables and export them as images. Let's get started. To begin, open up any page in your Notion workspace. You can either add charts as a standalone block on a page by typing slash chart, or by adding your chart as a new view for an existing database. Either way, you'll see the same options and you'll need to connect your chart to a Notion table as a data source. I'll use this projects table in my Notion workspace and add a new view to it. Click on the plus button here to create a new view in your table. Then select chart at the bottom of this list. Notion will create a chart out of your table's data, which you can configure and customize in this window. You can set the basic layout as a vertical or horizontal bar chart, a line graph, or a donut chart. I'm going to go with a vertical bar chart. Next, we can configure the X axis. You can choose which field to show here. I'll choose start date. And note that with date fields, you can choose to show the day, week, month, or year. You can also choose relative to display the time relative to the current date. For instance, it could show the last 30 days. I'll choose month so we can see the number of projects being started in each month. You can also set a sort order for the X axis, which I'll leave to the default of old to new, and you can choose to omit zero values as well. Next, you can configure the Y axis. By default, it's set to display the count, which means it will show how many records exist in your table for each data point shown in the X axis. So in our example, the Y axis is showing how many projects there are in each month. Here we can choose to group the y-axis data by one of the fields in our table. I'll set this to status. So now each bar will be split into multiple colors, one for each status option. Again, we can choose the sort order for the y-axis, but I'll leave it to the default. When you're displaying a count, you'll also have the option to show a cumulative total. This will make it so each value on the x-axis adds to the previous values. I'll leave that unchecked, so we'll just see the projects that started in each month alone, rather than seeing May's projects still counted in July, for example. Under Style, you can set the color scheme for your chart by picking a specific color palette, or just go with the more varied colorful option, which I think looks a lot nicer. You can also choose Auto, which will use the colors taken from your table when applicable. Under More Style Options, you'll see several options to fine-tune your graph's layout with settings like chart height, grid lines, axis labels, and more. With everything configured, let's take a look at the finished chart. There are bars for each month broken up by project status. And when I mouse over the data, some more detail pops up. Looks good. If you want to change your chart's view settings at any time, just click on these three dots here to access your menu again. You can also lock this chart view, preventing curious clickers on your team from accidentally changing something for everyone. Highly recommended if you're on a team. You can also share your chart like any other page or database in Notion. However, a more flexible option that will work great is to just export your chart as an image. To export your chart as a still image, all you have to do is click on the three dot menu, scroll down to save chart as, and select the image format you want to use. Then you'll instantly get an image file of your chart. Of course, you'll lose some of the detail that you get by mousing over your live chart in Notion, but this is still a great way to export a visualization to add to a report, presentation, email, or Slack message. Note that you're currently limited to just one chart at a time on Notion's free plan. This is a pretty annoying limitation that makes it hard to mess around with charts and try them out for yourself. So hopefully Notion will up the number to something a bit less strict soon. I don't think allowing like three charts would be too much to ask but you can access unlimited charts on any paid plan, so most Notion power users should be all set to make as many charts as they want. Notion's new charts are a simple and effective way to visualize your data, and it only takes a few seconds to export them as an image. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to be using charts in your Notion workspace? What other features would you like to see come from Notion? 
And are there any other tutorials or feature updates you'd like to see us cover on the channel? Your suggestion could become one of our next videos. If you enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every week. If you'd like to learn more about low-code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the X-Ray Workflow Resources Board down below, and as always, find your focus and stay in flow.